So I'm going to tell you about that. My first job um, was with a very large insurance company uh, right out of college as a financial underwriter for large insurance plans, large employee benefit plans. Um, and my job was to do the financial analysis of these plans, come up with a pricing strategy, and then you go into negotiations with the uh, benefit consulting firms that represented the large employers. And quite frankly, you could not be more bottom of the barrel. This was bottom of the totem pole kind of job, right? And um, my boss was a guy named Steve. And flat out, Steve was a genius, mathematically as sharp as I've ever come across. But he made people crazy, because what Steve would do is you bring an analysis back to him, a really good analysis. And every time, he would send you back with four different ways you could do it, and he'd want you to come back with four or five different ways um, to run the analysis, and then you'd go back and forth that way. And it made people nuts. Well, what I recognized, though, is I wanted to become an employee benefits consultant. I thought that would be a really neat job. So what I figured is as painful as it was to work with Steve, hours and hours and hours of repeated work, what I figured I was doing was learning how to compete against my future competition underwriters like me on behalf of my large employer clients. And what, I worked for Steve for almost two years. And then I left there to become a benefits consultant in, in Mercer, a very large uh, human resources consulting company. And in the seven years that I focused on that niche, employee benefits consulting, not one time did I lose a negotiation with the underwriters. And I'm no mathematician by any stretch of the imagination, but I learned from Steve. It was painful, but I learned from Steve. And what was neat about that is it, it gave me tremendous credibility with my clients, which allowed me to then expand to other niches over time. But that story of that very difficult time with Steve leads to niche development lesson number one, which is look at your experiences, even the seemingly bad ones, with an eye for the expertise that can help a client solve a problem. And I did that, and then it got me thinking about what problems can I solve for my clients?